In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace a fuel pump module assembly on your Subaru Outback. This will be located behind the rear seat. Let's get started. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the negative terminal. Remove the negative battery terminal, put it to the side. We're gonna remove the rear seat there's two tabs in the front of this seat. It's a little U-hook. This U-hook hooks into a plastic stay. You'll be able to feel it pulling up on the seat. We're gonna go right to that spot on either side and give it a firm pull straight up and pop it out. Do the same thing on the other side. Tilt the seat towards the rear and remove it from the vehicle. Using a trim tool, we're gonna to remove the two clips for the carpet. We're gonna pop these straight up and out. There's one more on the other side. Pop out the two plastic clips. Pull the carpet out of the plastic clips. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull the carpet forward. We're gonna remove this connector. There's a push button right on the top. We're gonna to push on that, pull straight back, remove the connector. We're gonna remove the plastic stay. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws for the cover. Push the grommet through the cover. While you're doing this, be very careful for the edge of the cover. These can be quite sharp. Remove the cover. Using a pair of pliers, we're gonna pinch the plastic stay and push it through the bracket. There's a push button tab right here for the fuel pump connector. Push on that tab. Pull straight up, remove the connector. I'm going to tuck this harness down out of the way. Make sure it's still grabbable. Using a vacuum, we're going to suck up all the debris around the fuel pump cover. I have a rag fished under my fuel lines to catch any extra fuel that might come out of the lines. Push on either side of these tabs and then we'll remove the line from the connector. Do the same thing for this line. Using an 8 millimeter socket, go around and remove all of the nuts for the fuel pump cover. We're going to pull our lines off to the side. Remove our fuel pump ring. We're going to grab a collection bucket and bring it into the car. So when we remove this fuel pump, we can put it right into our collection bucket. Pull the fuel pump lines off to the side. Grab the fuel pump. Lift it straight up and out. Let it drain for a second before pulling it out. And we're gonna put it right into our collection bucket. Remove the plastic line locks from the fuel pump module assembly. Remove the gasket. Install the new gasket. Be sure it's fully seated on this lip. Install the fuel pump into the vehicle. Get the level sensor in there first. Slide the lines out of the way. Get the fuel pump installed.
push the pump down into the gasket. Install the fuel pump ring. The fuel pump gasket can only be installed one way. Be sure that all of the tabs are sticking through the fuel tank ring. Be sure that the fuel pump is keyed into the ring. Install the nuts all the way around the lock ring. Go around and snug down all of the nuts to the cover, but don't tighten them yet. We're gonna get our fuel system closed before we torque the bolts. We're gonna install our locks onto our fuel pump and install the line onto the lock. Do the same thing on the other side. Torque the fuel pump ring bolts to 3.2 foot pounds. We're going to go in a cross pattern. Pull the harness up. Install the plastic stay. Install the connector for the fuel pump. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. We're gonna tuck our harness, fold this tab over, install the cover, pull the grommet through, get the screws started. Snug the bolts down. Get them nice and snug. They're going into plastic, so you can just strip them out. Just make them nice and snug. Install the grommet into the cover. Push it in until it's sealed. You'll be able to pull up on it, and it shouldn't want to move. Pull the harness over to the side, install the plastic stay, pull up our carpet, install the connector, push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull, make sure it's locked on. Install the carpet behind our plastic clips for the seat. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the Christmas tree clips. Push them straight down through the carpet. Install the seat into the vehicle. Be sure all of the seat belts are going to travel through the seat in their proper cutouts. Pull the seat up into the back, pushing it under the seat back, and then hinging forward and down, and we'll push it into our clips. You'll hear an audible clip just like that. Install the negative battery terminal. Snug the terminal down. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.